before moving into Georgia with catastrophic winds as a still dangerous high-end Category 2 hurricane early Friday. The big picture? The deadly hurricane weakened to a Category 1 storm by 2 a.m. ET, but life-threatening storm surge, winds and heavy rains continued amid multiple water rescues across Florida. There's been at least one storm-related death in the state and two others in Georgia since the strongest storm ever recorded in the Big Bend coast struck threat level. The huge storm was forecast to bring an unprecedented 15 to 20-foot storm surge to Florida's Big Bend area and high winds to all of the state as the storm plowed inland with hurricane-force wind gusts hitting North Georgia. Hurricane warnings were in effect for parts of Metro Atlanta the National Weather Service called the maximum storm surge forecast for the Big Bend region catastrophic and unsurvivable. The surge has already begun along the west coast of the state. Flooding rains were affecting the southern Appalachians, with rainfall totals around 15 inches expected in western North Carolina. Such rainfall amounts will cause landslides and historic flooding. Tampa Bay was forecast to see one of its most severe storm surge events on record, with up to 8 feet of surge. The Atlanta metro area faced one of its most significant encounters with a hurricane or tropical storm on record, with hurricane-force wind gusts anticipated. These winds could lead to widespread tree damage. State of play. The hurricane rapidly strengthened into a Category 4 storm over the Gulf of Mexico's record warm waters Thursday, 